Hey guys, welcome back to Unbox Analysis. Today, we're gonna to be going over another product by Nufi, the Air 75. Now, things have been a little slow on the video side here, building the new set. Um, not the fanciest thing in the world, but it's all DIY kind of stuff going on. If you guys wanna see a video on that, please let me know. All right, let's get into it. Okay, here we have the Nufi Air 75. Um, Apparently this is the world's thinnest keycaps. I chose the Gateron red switches. And let's get into it and check it out. Now we'll start off with saying, I got this directly off of Nufi's website for 90, I believe it was $98. I used my own 10% off. It'll be in the uh, description down below. Anybody can use that. And then, um, it came in about, I want to say about seven days. Okay, check that out. Pretty similar to the Halo 75. It's got some neat uh, Japanese inspired artwork on there. Let's check that out. Nice. All right, so going around the box, you can see it is low profile, low delay, lightweight, 75% layout. Box overall, pretty simple, straight from Nufi. All right, let's get into the rest and see how she looks. Outer box shows the inner box. Nice gray color scheme. Shows the nice little Nufi logo. Let's turn around here. All right, time for the unveiling. Okay, so first up we have the quick start guide from Nufi talking about the different wireless modes, power on, power off. This is the wireless version. A couple of Nufi, more of those anime stickers there. Nice looking keycap and switch puller. Looks pretty nice there. Set that off the side. Looks like we have some extra feet and keycaps. Nice braided USB type C cable. Then we have some extra switches. Looks like the Gateron Brown, Gateron Red, and Gateron Blue. I did go with the Gateron Red for here. I'm guessing they send these so you know what to try. Plus, this looks like some kind of dampening material. And then you have your USB dongle right here. All right, I'm getting to the actual Actual board. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that looks sharp. Okay, I like that. Man, that is super thin. Look at that. Here, let, me, let me find a comparison board here real quick. These are from the $30 keyboards I did just recently. Look at the difference in thickness here. It is more than double. That is crazy. Oh, it looks like those other rubber things were replacement feet. What a great peel. So this is the 84 key wireless mechanical keyboard from Nufi, the Air 75. This thing is definitely a statement piece. It looks and sounds great. All right, so let's go around the board. First off, we've already seen super low profile. Board is profile, frame is low profile, keys are apparently the, how do they put it, the thinnest ones in the world uh, for PBT spherical keycaps. All right. Really, really like the design of this board. This thing looks phenomenal. 
It's crazy how small it actually is. It's got some good sound to it. We'll get a full audio test here a little bit later in the video. But for now, I say we hook it up and check it out. Okay, we turned the lights down in the studio here just to check out the coloring on the board. So you can see the backlit keycaps. These are not shine through. Um, I believe they do have another series called the Twilight series, which you can order for I think an extra 20 bucks that come with it. So here we can see all the backlighting here. Now I just hooked it up. I didn't do any programming, didn't mess with any of this presets. This is kind of neat here. I have this little LED ribbon on the side that just looks really sharp. Due to the thin nature, no other lights on the back, but you can actually see it shining through the PBT plastic. Nifty. Alright, we'll get some lights back on here and we'll get into the typing test. Okay, overall, sounds really good. Basically how I would expect from Gateron Reds, but the quality of the board, the dampening, it does sound great. Uh, let's check if there's any flex in this board here. Very, very little, super sturdy for the size. Um, the other keys that it came with would replace a couple of them with gray, like you have the escape key, uh, possibly Windows key, or Mac key, Alt key. Then the bigger feet for the bottom, giving you a little bit of a raise. Overall, pretty awesome board. Now I will say this, um, I think I like the Halo 75 a little better, but if you are traveling and you want some kind of decent gaming keyboard, this, this is nice. This is great for it um, because it is thin, it is responsive, it doesn't feel like a low profile board. And overall, it's great. Okay, so this has just been a really quick review of the Nufi Air 75. A um, couple more facts about it. It's thin as 16 millimeters, 2,500 milliamp hour battery. They say that it can last 48 hours of use time, allowing you to use it for like a whole week. Um, again, overall, if I'm traveling, this thing is gonna be it. If I'm at home, I'm probably gonna go with the Halo 75 or one of the other keyboards we checked out. Um, make sure to check out some of those other ones. Let me know what you think. We will be doing a review on one of the ACO boards here soon, A-K-K-O, but I need some help from you guys. I need you guys to help me figure out which ACO board to review. Please leave the comments down below. I don't know a lot about them, but I want to check them out. I'm hearing a lot of good things. Um, make sure to check down below. I'm going to have a link for a 10% discount and an affiliate link. Affiliate links do help the channel out financially, and I really appreciate that. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.